everybody, welcome back to Chic on the Cheap. This week I have a project for you that's a beginner sewing project and it's a fun project to make for yourself or it's a really cool project to make as a gift. It's how to turn an old skirt into an apron. And it's a really great way to use up either an old skirt you have or if you find a skirt at a thrift store that has a really neat print, maybe it's not in your size but you really love it, it's a great way to use skirts and turn them into aprons. So here's your tutorial. Okay, start by laying your skirt out on the ground, and what you want to do is find the seam where there's a zipper or buttons, or if it doesn't have any of that, just find one main seam, and we're going to cut up both sides of that seam to give us one long piece of fabric. So cut up one side and cut up the other side. If it has a zipper, just cut that out with the seam. And you're left with one long piece. Now we're going to finish off those raw edges. So go to your ironing board and just fold the edge over about half an inch and then fold it over again. Iron it in place and then just sew a seam right along that edge to give yourself a nice finished seam. Now next we're going to do a gathering stitch. To do this you need to set your stitch length to the highest and then also set your tension to the highest level. And then we're going to make two gathering seams. To do this, start by pulling out your thread really long because you're going to need to use those for pulling this gather. And then we're going to stitch two straight seams along the top of the skirt. And you'll just stitch one and then one underneath it about half an inch below. And very important, do not backstitch. When you start this seam and when you finish it, do not backstitch. Just go straight through. And at the end, pull out a lot of extra thread too because you're going to use that to pull on to create your gather. So once you have your two seams in place, just like this, go ahead and at one end take two of the threads. Make sure that you have two of the same either top or bottom threads. You don't want to be pulling on a top and a bottom thread. So take two top threads, just like this, and you're just going to start pulling that fabric along that string. Now this is kind of a slow process and the reason you have two seams is so that if one string breaks you still have another one to work with. And this is, as you can see, it's going to start to gather. So you're going to do this all along until you've gathered up that fabric to the right width that you want it to be for your apron to fit around your waist. So this is what it should look like when you're done gathering. Now we're going to make the straps for the apron. And I just made these out of a piece of scrap cotton that I had. So what you want to do is just cut uh, two large rectangles. I did mine about 6 inches tall by 45 inches wide just to make uh, the, the straps long enough. So you'll have two pieces of material just like this. And your first step is going to be to sew two ends together. So you have one long strip of fabric and then go ahead and iron that seam flat. Now next you're going to lay out your skirt again on the floor facing up and then take the right side of your strap so that the ugly side of the seam on that strap is facing you and just center it on your skirt just like this right on that bottom gathering line and then you're just going to pin it in place because we're going to sew that skirt right to this piece of um, the belt for the apron. So once you have it pinned in place, go ahead and just do one seam so that you connect it to the skirt. So sew that skirt right onto the belt, just like this. And as you can see, when you flip it over, you've got a nice seam right there. So next we want to get rid of some extra fabric that we don't need. So lay your skirt out and take your scissors and what you're going to do is just cut off the excess gathering because when we actually finish the belt you don't want that to be inside. So take your scissors and very carefully make sure you don't cut the belt or cut the seam you just did and just cut off the excess so it'll look kind of like this. Next go to your ironing board and you're going to iron in a fold all along the top of that belt. As you can see it goes the whole length of the belt and then iron in another fold all along the bottom of the belt. So all around this belt you're going to iron on a fold and at the ends of the belt you're going to do the same thing. Make sure that you, the way I did it is I just ironed in the corners first and then I just pulled down that extra um, raw edge and ironed that down as well. So what we're going to do to finish this belt is just fold it on top of itself in half so that those folded edges meet each other and then we're going to top stitch it which just means to basically make a stitch that you're going to be able to see uh, and that's how we will finish this skirt. So fold it just like this, see it kind of encases around your apron and then you're just going to pin it in place and sew one giant seam starting at one end of the belt and just sew around that corner all the way across the skirt and all the way to the other corner. 
And then you are done with your apron. This is what it'll look like after you give it a good iron. You have a nice cute apron that's great for yourself or for a gift. And like I said, you can use a skirt that you have that you just love and just doesn't work anymore. You can cut it up and turn it into an apron. Or if you're near a Goodwill, they sell skirts for $3.99. So you can get skirts pretty cheap to use for this project. Thanks so much for watching this week and we'll see you right back here next week.